Welcome to my quest guide on the new quest Unwelcome Guest. As for the requirements, you will need 10 Slayer, 50 Construction, and have completed the quest Murder on the Border. As for the required items, it helps to have 14 Teak Frames and 6 Stone Wall Segments. As for the items required, You have an option, and that is if you are a level 3 scaler, you can do this quest, but you will need food and a blood necklace. That way, once the monsters hit you, every 15 seconds, your blood fury will damage them a little bit. So, you may need aggression potions to aggro them, and then you'll be fine. You'll just need to spend maybe a minute or two, and you need to kill each one. If you are a main account, Pretty much just bring your best magic weapon as they are weak to air spells. Make your way to the Fort Foundry Lodestone. And we'll be going to the building directly east once you enter the fort. To Overseer Civ. You want to speak to them. Welcome to the Comrade Center. For here, just hit option two, talk about the unknown, the unwelcome guest. And she says, we really need to make improvements on the security of the fort. Accept the quest. I agree, a duke was murdered right here on our watch. And then he was. And Dark Beast got in and attacked the queen. They did. And an assassin attacked me. Me. He's like, okay, okay, he did. What we really need are some guards. I couldn't agree more. Now even the raptor has wandered in unchallenged. It's like, oh, famous slayers thinking they can wander wherever they want just because no one can stop them. And that armor, I'm so mysterious like anyone cares what he looks like. So, do you know the raptor? So, only by reputation, but I know his type. So, she's already assuming. Isn't that nice? I'll go deal with him. You tried to find us some guards. I have ideas. Leave it to me. So, once we're here, we want to go west. Speak to the raptor, which I know it might be like super, super laggy and stuff. So, speak to him. Can I help you? The raptor stares to the north. This is your fort. That's right, I built it myself. The king has charged me with defending Lutzlin against the Zamorakian treat. In return, he made me a... He's like, let's talk. Undead have been seen to the north and to the west. It is the wilderness, you know. So more than usual, if they attack, your fort will be destroyed. Mm, that doesn't sound ideal. We will prevent that. We? Yes. Alright, what do we do? Meet me beyond the north gate, come equipped for battle. Got it. So, now we make our way north. Open the gate. Continue. And the raptor will go north. We want to slay the undead as we go. And we can just watch him if you want. I don't know if he will count for the kills that we will have to do, so let me just wait a little bit. And, hmm, I'm not really sure. Okay, nope.
from here, we want to make our way west. And these are the NPCs who automatically aggro you. So if you want, you can kind of stack them up and just attack them. And it will say how many are left you need to kill, which is pretty nice. So just attack them. And then you could use your thresholds to kill them a little bit quicker. Four more to go. And there we go. It's pretty nice to how you're able to aggro them. And once we have killed this tenth one, we will need to go back north and talk to Raptor. He will automatically say, this will do for now. So wait for the little cut screen to go, and you'll say, undead cleared. I should see what our new friend has to say about the attack. So, go self. We want to make our way back to the raptor. Speak to him. Looks like that's the undead threat averted. Looks like they will return. You need to fortify the perimeter. I feel like walls are probably enough to dislude a few zombies. So your walls will be useless when they form a ramp out of their own corpses. So I hadn't considered the risk of zombie gymnastics. I'll speak to Bill and see what we can do in this place. So now we go north and speak to Bill. Hit option one. Hello, Bill. Oh, that is hello, your grace. I have something to ask. That's okay. Of course, Bill. Go ahead. I'm sure you've noticed the foundations for a new building to the south of the fort. He's like, yes. Well, I've been drawing up plans for an inn. We call it the Wildy Wall. It's like, oh. Ground floor tavern, beer garden, three floors of bedroom. And then that sounds right, Bill. But right now, I need to add some addition, additional defenses to the wall in case more zombies attack. It's like zombies? Hmm. What you want are some racking great wooden spikes that will divert them. It's like that could work. I assume I have the source of logs. Am I yourself? It's like. I can help you there. I actually have a low left from when we shut down our old sawmill. You do? We could have used those to build the fort. It's like, oh, they're not suitable for building anything, have all. But for nasty pointing spikes, they'll get the job done. I'll get the materials dragged outside the walls for you. You want a hand setting them up? It's like, eh, it's not safe out there, Bill. I'll handle the assembly. You get back inside as soon as you can. Right you are. I'll make sure they're positioned around the perimeter where you need them. So, basically, once you have done that, you can go north. Through the gate. And then hit option one. Yes, you understand the restrictions. Now you will see this, I guess, like torn down, spiky area thingy. You want to just construct it. It is quite fast, as you can see. And once you build one, it will say how many more to go. So continue to go east.
continue to go east some more. And there will be one more for us to fix. Once that is done, we want to go west. Keep going west to where we killed the zombies at the beginning. And construct the building supplies nearby. Build the next one. And the zombies can attack you. However, you do not need to kill them. They're not required to progress. You just need to like run around or kill them as I did. Continue going south a little bit more. And you'll see one more, which is again by a zombie. So just be careful. You can have your auto attack off or just kill one. And then build the defense. Now that that's done, we should speak to Civ if they've had any luck with recruiting guards. Guess we're getting teleported? I'm not sure if he's actually chatting the whole thing or not. So, okay, I guess just head north through the gate and we'll be entering our own fort again. Go through the gate. There we go. Okay, now we want to go to the southeast building pretty much and speak to Civ. Speak to the overseer. Welcome to the command central. Hit option two, talk about the unwelcome guest. And they'll ask, have we been busy? It's like, yeah, the raptor and I squashed a few zombies outside, and I've been fortifying the outer walls with spikes. Zombies? It would be useful to be informed about these things. It's like, don't worry, we handle them. It's like, I'm sure, well, some good more news. Some more good news. I found us some guards. It's like, oh, that's good news, but how are we going to pay them? Ah, well, I have that handled. You need not concern yourself, which means Overseer Sith might be rich. Sounds like everything is well in hand, then. Will we house them here in the Command Central? Sorry, in the... No, I mean... They may not... That may not be the best plan. Sorry, where, then? Perhaps a new building... Of course, I'll have Bill draw up some plans for a card house immediately. Very good. Now, we go west and speak to Bill, which his lovely beer garden will have to be destroyed. So, hit option one. Plans for that inn are coming along nicely, Your Grace. So, I have to stop you there, Bill. We need to repurpose your plans. It's like, but... Beer garden. It's like a tavern sounds lovely, but what we need much more urgently is a guard house. So, all right, I suppose that does make sense. We don't want zombies trampling the beer garden after all, which means maybe we'll get a little farming update or rework here that we get a beer garden. Or maybe like a herbal patch or something. Or a hop patch. 
that the hops do make beer. So that would be a little bit interesting. We'll have to see if Bill gets what he wants. It's like, okay, that is going to require my good pencil. All right, take off a couple of floors, save some space with the ladder, add a few trophy plaques. Perfect. There we go. It's not much of an end, but at least the guards will be well rested. I'll get on and design some improvements you can add later. It's like great work as always, Bill. Sorry about your end. It's no bother, Your Grace. You're here to do a job, after all. Take a look at the blueprint table to see what materials you'll need to begin the construction. So, just click on the tables, and as I said earlier, you will need 50 construction, 14 teak frames, and 6 stone segments. If you want to upgrade to tier 2, after the quest, you will need 77 construction, 20 teak frames, and 6 wall segments. For tier 3, you will need a whopping 97 construction with 20 mahogany frames and 6 stone wall segments. So let's build the guardhouse tier 1. Once that is done, go directly south. And just like before in my other quest, I will not skip this four minutes that it takes to build this. So you can just bear with me or you could forward four minutes into the video as I like to do pretty much real time quest as skipping around doing everything would be very hard to follow because you will need to constantly pause it and all. And don't worry, I will be doing some loot videos from the four new NPCs, so you can look forward to that. I might do loot from 1,000 or even 5,000, depending if the loot is a good variety or not. If you do care about experience, make sure to follow the optimal construction hotspot. In which case you'll notice on your buff bar that you start out with 100% XP, pretty much granted from here, and it will slowly reduce. The only problem is you will have to change hotspot locations quite often as they can change every 15 seconds. The most that you are able to AFK is a minute. So if you're like super lucky or not, you could get a little more extra construction experience. For those that are not aware, there is a couple new achievements, and that will be for the Slayer, which we just need to fill the codex with the zombie, the ghouls, skeletons, and the armored phantoms. Now you will need a higher Slayer level based on the one you are wanting to kill, and the armored phantoms are by far the most difficultest. We also do have another achievement. A place for my heads, which is to mount all three of the Raptor's Slayer trophies, which include the Zombie, Skeleton, and Phantom. For whatever reason, well, I guess the Ghosts don't really have like a body, so we can't really mount their heads. So that kind of does make a bit of sense. For the exploration, you just want to fully build the walls up to tier 3. And then, of course, for lore, we did get that new quest, 
So once we complete this quest, if you have, you completed all of them. And then that's about it. And as you can tell, this does take forever. And the wall is almost built for the guardhouse. Now that we have built the guardhouse, we will want to actually make our way and speak to the overseer Siv, who can be found to the east in that comrade Centra as well. There we go. You'll also get a chat box saying you should speak to Siv about it. So go east. Speak to her. Welcome to the command center. Hit option two. And you will get a little nice cutscene.
card house is ready. It looks good, all things considered. What do you think? It's like, hmm. It's like, moving on, because the raptor is not much on words. He wants less talk. So, any news on some guards? Looks like they should be here already. One minor thing. Yes. Our new guards are a little rough around the edges, and they're leaderless. So, you're saying they need a firm hand? It's like, mm, we could use a captain. Raptor, buddy, how about... No. You didn't even let me finish. It's like, I am no leader. This is it, the Mighty Four. So I guess we could say they're like the Four Horsemen. Finally. You, Siv? It's like, yes. Uh, Siv? Where did you say you found these guards? Why do you ask? Are they... Black Knights? Of course not. They're... We're Dark Warriors. So I guess from the Dark Warrior Fortress, found to the west side of the wilderness. Dark Warriors rule. Looks like Siv, a moment please. Why are there Dark Warriors inside my fort? You wanted guards? I found us guards. We're supposed to be keeping the dangers of the wilderness out, not letting them in. Right. So what's the problem? They're evil. Didn't you hear them? Dark warriors rule. Oh. They're not evil. They're just a bandit gang. Huh? Dark warriors is the name of their gang. Their leader, Cyrus, got murdered by some Zamorakian. With that and all the recent mammoth attacks, they're just, they just wanted to get out of the wilderness, but none of the kingdoms would have them. So pretty much we kind of get like the rejects, I guess you can say, but the dark warriors are very strong. We need muscle and they're no friends of the Zamorakians. They fought off a lot of other gangs to get here and, best of all, they work for room and board which means they're free so i guess we won't be getting that miscellaneous kingdom rework just yet all right i get it let's hope and we'll find someone who can keep them under control fourteen at the same time you sure they were demons yes and then they all gasp it's like Siv has explained your situation Welcome to Fort Foundry. Try not to steal anything. So I'll show them the guardhouse and get the whole watch rotation figured out. Your guards fall off. More zombies are on their way here. Meet me in the northern gate. We will search for the source of the undead. Once the cutscene is finally over, you'll want to make your way north. So, go north, through the gate, hit option 1 to continue, unwelcome guest. As before, we need to stop the western attack, so kill the 10 zombies again. And remember, as a level 3 skiller, you are able to kill them since they do aggro you. You'll just need to bank, get food, and use the blood necklace. I would say you could use a cannon, but that will gain you range experience. So do not do that.
remember to go pretty much south as you want to kill all the white dots that are available to you. Once all 10 of them have been killed, you want to make your way north to the gate. Oh, actually, I guess it brings you there. That's nice. We're clear. It's like, it's about time. And then Raptor does get attacked. He's like, hmm. There's a mighty one which the armored phantom seems to have like a rune halberd or maybe like a steel halberd. It's like phantom, a strong one. Looks like it came from the north. Come with me. And I guess the raptor is just gonna let himself get attacked by the zombie. Oh, I guess not. He noticed now. That's good. So, we'll make our way north automatically. And we'll notice that an ancient crypt that has been opened. So I, I would haze a guest of undead coming from here. So I, hmm, ready yourself. There we go. I wonder who built this. And I guess my area does have to load a little bit as I can see through everything. All that matters is who or what is raising the undead, which might be a little lore behind like a necromancy boss we might be getting soon or after skill release, so that would be a bit interesting. Or maybe it's like an understudy who's accidentally raising the dead using the necromancy skill. That's not good. Over there. And I guess we just teleported our way there. And what do you know? That's Zimorgo, who's, I guess, practicing some dark magic. And he's trying to open a door, it looks like. The Raptor. Because I, Zimorgo, the Duke of Fortney. What are you doing here? It's like, my plans are beyond your comprehension. Could you be raising an undead army to attack my fort? It's like, merely a distraction. It's like, your minions are easily defeated. While you dolly, my true schemes can unfold without our interference. On which subject, I have all I need from here for now. I leave you in the company of my finest. And directly behind us, he summoned three armored zombies. We should retreat. Run from a fight? That doesn't sound like you. It's like we are at a disadvantage. Three versus two. When we return, we will not be. That was intense. Hopefully the raptor can tell us what we're up against. So, go south. And we will be speaking to the raptor. I will remain in the fort. Say what? Why? And then Zermaga will attack eventually, no matter your bluster, he is an ancient necromancer and a serious threat. If the fort falls, the kingdom beyond is in danger. So you don't seem like the kind to care about something like that. It's like, hmm, you know nothing about me or my history. I'm sure we can find somewhere to go for you to sleep. A new vacancy has just opened, in fact. It's like, hmm, we have some rather undisciplined guards in need of guidance. It's like, I told you. Yes, yes, I expect all they really need is a good example. I am here to kill. But yet, he's going to wait inside the fort until Zimmergal comes, and then he'll fight. So, that will be a little bit of watching. 
or a little pain. So if they betray us, he will kill our four guards, because I ask them leader skills. You have to address me as your grace, of course. Say, like we must cut the undead of the crypts to prevent their numbers from building. When you are ready to do that, return to him. Of course, we won't let the fort come to harm. And voila, you have completed the quest, Unwelcome Guest, which you're able to reveal in all three tiers of the guardhouse. The raptor will now act as a slayer master inside the fort, Forney, and we have access to the crypt north, along with two treasure hunter keys if you are a main account. If you are an iron, you will not get anything. With that, thank you all so much for watching this long real-time quest guide, and enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment as a